this time it's a trump that gets a little bit of luck. Nothing easy for O'Sullivan. Terrific pot. One. And again, that was all or nothing. Red spread far and wide. Yes, and split the two reds. That was going to cause him a problem at some stage. So only got one red, Eight. one difficult red to contend with. Nine. May have to push the red towards that right corner. Twenty-five. He's already thinking about that red on the cushion. And he's left an angle on this red to bring it out. Thirty-one. Didn't quite have the angle. That was a good red to bring that red into play. Could leave himself high on the blue 36. to again try and bring that red into play. 37. Not quite there. 43. Well, he won't be too bothered about dropping in behind the red. Because you can switch to left-handed. Back to the table. So the break ends at 56. 14 in the frame. What, what moments these are in the final. And finish with a snooker. Slight swerve and he's missed it. Oh, no free ball, fortunately. This looks a lot more dangerous. And this could be a free ball. Foul. Enemies. Oliver, it is, but ball. it's no good to him. Yellow ball. Well, I'm saying no good to him. He got the snooker, but he missed the yellow. And now that it's gone in, he's got the green. One. And will take him to the red. Trump started the frame with that cracking red. But Judd Trump is yet to make a 40 break in this final. Bear in mind he's come into the match as the season's leading century break maker. It's going to have to start happening soon, otherwise this will be a landslide. Made the four half centuries so far, highest 91 in the second frame. 
Exciting. And he's only now four frames away from becoming champion. So the onslaught continues. That was Judd Trump's best chance to win his first frame of the final, but it's gone the way of all the others. And Ronnie O'Sullivan forges even further. Now can Trump see this red to the right corner? The easier one. Let's have a look, okay. That was a quick look. One. And that was an excellent pot. Again, the cue balls just run a little awkward. Not perfect on the yellow. And not ideal on the green. He's missed one like this, don't forget. Caught it thick. Oh, oh wow. That would have been cruel. Five. Well, I, I don't think he played to bring that red into play. There was no need to. A 48 point lead. And now he's brought it into play. He's got to make sure of these balls. Wow, I think he's not in. He's hung on the lip. Touch on five. He needs to disturb those two reds, which he has done straight away. And now there's nothing Five. safe except the brown. Seven. Eight. I uh, may play for the red below the pink while he's got the angle to get onto that red. That's what Judge Trump will be pinning his, pinning his hopes on. Lots of right hand side on the cue ball. Thirty six. And to put everything into the pot there. I need the pink. Doesn't want to be straight on the green. 45. And that looks just about right. <coughs> and so does that. Easy pink, he missed. 52. So Sullivan needs blue and pink to lead 7-0. And this 
frame of all of them is going to hurt the most for Trump. 57. I tell you what, there's a danger. This could be a whitewash. It's going to take some getting over this frame. But what a fantastic clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's on it today and then some. Absolutely brilliant. The 70 clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Surely that's the killer blow now. Is there any way back at all for Judge Trump? Ronnie O'Sullivan, 30. Well, 30. It should have been more. Very rare to see a positional error like that from O'Sullivan with the way he's been playing of late. Oh, he won't open them up. <laughs> well, that was a big mistake from Ronnie there. I just wonder when he played the safety off you at the red that he might have mushed, mushed it into a, a plant. Well, I think this is just a question, really, fellas, we know. If Judge can get to the interval, you know, we just don't know what might happen after the interval. Yes, and these are the sorts of frames that can plant a seed of doubt because O'Sullivan was in. Four. Looking good to make a really sizable break, if not actually a frame winning one. Now, if Trump can turn this around from 30 points behind, that'll give him a boost. Ten. Yes, the cream has certainly risen to the top. Just watching Ronnie in the chair there, Phil. He's looked very, sort of very relaxed all week, hasn't he? Good within himself, and you know, and when he's like that, we know he's dangerous. It would be, at the very least, a source of irritation. He'll still be four clear. Twenty-three. But at one stage, he was seven clear. Split here, it should be 8 4. <laughs> Nicely done. 39. Three reds potable, but he's going to need one of those two that are just together there. They go to the corner pocket. Might play another cannon down the line. Trying to nudge them. He just landed a little bit straight on that red. I mean, he could nudge them again here. He needs them open, though. Oh. Well, knowing that he was still going to be on this red, but he's committed himself to the cannon there. But he is an outstanding rest player. Not much angle on the black, though. He's going to have to play on one of these reds to the, the green pocket. Look at that. Still needs a red and black after this, or red and colour after this one. That looks pretty good to me. Hmm. Ah. Ronnie having to sit in this chair then for a change. This is the all important ball. If this goes in, should be 8 4. And it has to go in because he's leaving the other red and he's got it. Oh, well played. 33, the lead needs the black. I'll tell you what, Phil, this has been some contribution. Missed it. He's wow. missed it. Would you believe that? I mean, he's played in such a way to block the pocket, but I don't know whether that was a bad contact. No, I think it was just a mis misjudgment. Hit it thick. <coughs> and he still has the chance then to steal this frame. 33 in it, 35 at the table.
quite the snooker. I think Judd can see some of this red past the blue. Let's have a look. Ooh, well, <laughs> there's not much there. You might have to... No, oh, what am I saying? Of course it is, yeah. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Good hit. Guaranteed to be, on, to be on the black, really. And there's nothing safe. Oh. I'll tell you what. Well, if he clears here, this will hurt Judd. It's difficult to judge sometimes. Just miss the middle pocket, which he has done, but he needs it. Sort of needs that to bounce a little bit. He's done well there. Still needs a good touch here, though, Eight. from yellow to green. But if he gets this one right, I think it's 9 3. Ten. Well, what a frame this has been. O'Sullivan first in with 30, played for him a poor positional shot, played safe, or at least he thought he had. Trump potted a plant from long range. And look to have done all the hard work, only to miss a relatively straightforward black. And now O'Sullivan, courtesy of that great red, with a chance to inflict potentially fatal pain here. Yeah, Seven. and the snooker they laid before that was excellent as well, wasn't it? We saw on Hawkeye's view there was just a little bit sticky now, but Judd decided to go across the table off the cushion, and Five. it looks like it's cost him. 9-3, Phil, that is a long way back. I can't see it, really. One good positional shot. Well, hang on, though. Hang on, hang on. Where's he going? Ooh, touch of side on the white. Well, now then. There's no question this table has really sped up. Well, he's come this far. I think he'll take this on. He's got it. That was a pressure pot for O'Sullivan. It would have been a hard frame for him to lose from that position, having lost prime position on the black, but I think he enjoyed that one. And that is a hammer blow for Judd Trump as he falls 9-3 behind. The Rocket needs just one more to be crowned Shanghai Masters champion for a second time.